Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you are ready for a new week of guided reading. This week, we are going to be looking at a new book, but first, let's remind ourselves of our reading strategies. You can use any of these strategies to help you with your reading, but the ones that I want you to focus on are your eagle eye and your stretchy snake. Your eagle eye is when you look at pictures in the book to help you with the words. And your stretchy snake is when you stretch out the letters and the sounds in a word slowly. Let's have a go at a stretchy snake of our own. Ready? Marvel. M -a -v -l. You have a go for me? Good job. Well done. Let's try it all together one more time. Marvel. M -a -v -u. Fantastic job. Well done. The book that we are going to be looking at this week is called Mini Marvels. Hey boys and girls, here is what our book looks like on Oxford Owl. Let's have a read. Mini Marvels. Animals come in all shapes and sizes. Some are huge, others are so tiny that it's hard to see them. Tiny animals are found all around the world. In forests, on land and in the sea. Many of these tiny creatures hide from bigger creatures that would eat them up. Some hide by living up high in trees and others are just very hard to see. Let's take a look at some of these amazing little animals. They are mini marbles. Micro frog. Mini fax file. It lives in the rainforest in Central America. It eats small bugs such as ants and its size is about two centimeters. This little amphibian lives in tropical rainforest. Its bright colors warn other animals that its skin is very poisonous. The tiny female frogs lay eggs which the male help to protect. When tadpoles hatch from the eggs the, they hitch a ride on their mother's back. She takes the tadpoles to live in a rainforest plant until they become frogs. A seahorse so small. Mini fact file. It lives in coral reefs in the western Pacific Ocean. It eats plankton and tiny sea animals. Its size is about two centimetres. This amazing pygmy seahorse is found on coral reefs in warm tropical seas. It looks like the coral which helps it hide from predators. Many pairs of pygmy seahorses live on one piece of coral. The female seahorse lays eggs then the male carries the eggs in a pouch to look after them. About two weeks later, the eggs hatch, the baby seahorses swim away to find their own coral home. Pygmy leaf chameleon. Mini fact file. It lives in the forest in Madagascar. It eats tiny insects and it's about three centimetres. This is one of the smallest chameleons in the world. It is so small when it is born that it can fit on a person's fingernail. During the day, the chameleon hunts for insects on the ground. At night, it rests in the lowest branches of small bushes. It uses its short tail as, a, as an extra leg to help it climb. Like other kinds of chameleons, it can change colour to make it harder to see and help it hide from predators. Micro bumblebee bat mini fact file. It lives in Myanmar and part, a part of Thailand, Southeast Asia. It eats insects and it's about three centimetres. The bumblebee bat lives in the dark caves in the rainforest. It sleeps during the day. Just after the sun goes down, this bat zooms out of the cave to hunt insects. It also hunts just before sunrise. This little night creature makes a high-pitched squeak. Then it listens for the sound to come bouncing back off juicy insects. That's how 
it finds its prey. Tiny Bee Hummingbird Mini Fact File Lives on the island of Cuba in the Caribbean. It eats nectar from flowers and it's about 5.5 centimetres. The bee hummingbird is so tiny and fast that it's hard to see it's the smallest bird in the world. It zips from flower to flower in its tropical environment. It eats the sweet nectar from tropical flowers. This mini bird has brightly coloured feathers that help it to blend in with the colourful flowers. Pygmy possum, mini fact file. It lives in a forest in eastern Australia. It eats an insects and nectar from flowers and its size is about 9 centimetres long with a long thin tail. This possum is so small that it's no bigger than a mouse. After a long day of sleeping, the cute micro mammal is ready for action using its long, strong claws and long tail. It scurries around the treetops and hunts for food. The possum sips sweet nectar and licks pollen from the forest flowers. Insects are on the menu too. Blue ringed octopus, mini fact file. Oceans of southern Australia. It eats shellfish, such as crabs, and it's about 15 centimetres. The southern blue ringed octopus lives close to seashore, around rocks and reefs. This octopus may be small, but it's one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. When it's upset, the blue rings on the body glow brightly. This warns animal to stay away. This mini sea monster is also a super hunter, using its poison to catch little crabs and other shellfish. Flying dragon, mini fact file, lives in the rainforest in Southeast Asia. It eats termites and ants, and its size is about 21 centimeters. The flying dragon is a tiny lizard. It has very long ribs with special folds of skin between them. These look like wings. When the lizard spread its wings, it is able to glide from tree to tree in the forest. It uses its long tail to steer. It is not safe for this little lizard to spend much time on the ground. It would soon get eaten by predators. For most of its life, it stays safely up in the tree branches, gliding around or eating termites and ants. Now that I've finished reading, go all the way back to the beginning for me and have a go at reading it yourself. If you are struggling, you can rewind the video and listen to me read it again. Or down here on Oxford Owl, they have the play button where they will read it to you. This week for guided reading, we are going to be looking at our word searches again. To access the word search all you need to do is click on the link that I will post in class dojo and it will bring you to this page. To enter the word search you just need to put your name in and press start. Once that has loaded it will come up with this page and you just need to press start to play your word search. You need to find all of these words in your word search don't forget to send me a picture of your lovely work. I look forward to seeing them. Enjoy and have fun.